Will the class of 2012 please stand? It is my pleasure to induct you into the Reinhardt University Alumni Association. The purpose of the Reinhardt Alumni Association is twofold. First, to promote and support the university. You can do this by returning often, by telling others about Reinhardt, and by sharing your time, talent, and resources. Second, to provide a means for the continuation of friendships and associations formed during your days here. We encourage you to be active during the Alumni Association. I'm confident that if you do, you will find it to be a rich and rewarding experience in ways that you cannot even imagine today. When you frame your Reinhardt Diploma, we hope that you will look upon it often, display it with pride, and remember your Reinhardt family who supported you during this important time in your life. On behalf of the officers and members of the Reinhardt University Alumni Association, I say welcome and best wishes for much success in the days ahead. Please be seated. Now it is a pleasure to recognize the Golden Anniversary Class, the Class of 1962. We have presented Golden Anniversary medallions to each of the alumni who left Reinhardt 50 years ago and have come back for this special occasion. On behalf of Reinhardt University Alumni Association, I congratulate each of you who have been loyal supporters of Reinhardt for 50 years. Please stand as I call your name. Hilda Smith Clark lives in Athens and is retired from teaching. <laughs> Rosemary Upshaw Creech lives in Greenville, South Carolina. Larry Defor lives in Rocky Face and is semi-retired. He and his wife, he and his wife opened a lunch-only sandwich shop. Betty Heron Durham lives in Greensboro. <laughs> Douglas Geiger lives in Monroe and is retired from the printing and advertising business. <laughs> Judith Landrum Harvard lives in Cartersville and briefly worked for the Re Internal Revenue Service. Jane Griffin McLean lives in Tunnel Hill and works in the family carpet, wood, and rug business. She also started a design shop with her daughters called Two Sisters and Jane. <laughs> Beverly Tarpley McMurray lives in Marietta and works for a large medical billing service. <laughs> Thomas McMurray lives in Atlanta and is retired from Macy's. Thomas Larry Nix lives in Gainesville and is retired from Regents Bank. He also works full-time in his beef and cattle hay operation. <laughs> Henry Pate III lives in Ottawa, Tennessee and works for U.S. Express. <laughs> Lanita Ward Phillips, joining us in the Glass House, lives in Elberton. Judy Dyson Riddell lives in Noonan and is the math department chair at Northgate High School. <laughs> Carol Abernathy Winkle lives in Rome and is retired from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. <laughs> Evelyn Davis DeFore lives in Rocky Face and is retired from the Whitfield County Schools. Thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations. <laughs> 